channel. I do hope you're doing well. The first haul of 2022 has got to be home bargains. You know we can kick off the year, my lovelies, without, of course, the infamous home bargains haul. So as I said in 2021, the hauls ain't stopping. They are still going to be huge. I can't help it. I go into a bargain shop and I just get slightly mesmerized to say the least at the bargain prices and the range available so i did um take a trip to my home bargains we've got the classic return of the 99p bag but ready three two one Woo! it doesn't take 99p to fill it does it my lovers i wish it did so get comfy get cozy get your pen and paper because home bargains are coming through with the deals for the new year all right and We've got quite a lot to get into. <laughs> so I thought we would do the haul today on the bed because it's way too heavy to be lifting up by the dressing table. So here we are and it's just gonna be a bit of like a pick and mix because we all know there's no particular order. First thing I got my lovelies, these were two pounds. You're probably thinking, Shannon, you have earmuffs, but I thought they were so cute. The only thing I don't like is that the headband is not adjustable so they do seem to like come down low on my face but for two quid i was like you know what they are going straight in my basket because well basket trolley you know your girl can't go to the bargain shops and just get a basket it is a full-blown trolley i have purchased something in the sale which it's not pure white but it is like cream and i thought this would just look absolutely perfect with it so cannot wait to show you that when the haul comes live Right, I'm not going to talk about that just yet. It may be a new year, but your girl still wants her snacks. So for one pound, I picked up a six pack of Beef Space Raiders. These are great because they're only 64 calories a bag. So when I do want that little savoury fix, then I'm not going to beat myself up about it. And by having the little bags, I'm kind of trying to not have the share bags, aka Shannon bags, because your girl can sit there and demolish one of them, no problem, in one sitting, probably in an hour, to be perfectly honest. So yeah, by having the individual bags, I'm hoping it's going to take away from the refrain to want to eat all six packs, let's be perfectly honest. Right, on a more healthier note, all right? So these were 99p and they're by the brand Go Ahead Yogurt Breaks. I've had these many, many times. I picked them up in Forest Fruits, which is yogurt flavour topping on a light crispy biscuit with sultanas and a berry flavoured filling. These are so, so handy. And as I say, 99p for how many do you get in there? Five packs of two slices and that's 71 calories a slice. So if you are going into the new year and you want to try and be a bit healthier, as I say, my downfall, I think, is snacking at work. When I'm at home, I very rarely snack unless I'm in the mood where I like pig at. But at work, I think it's pure boredom. So like from half seven, I normally get in on a normal day. And then about half eight, quarter to nine, the snack man comes. That is going to be my my little struggle because i do normally have a pastry every morning but i'm going to try and be good so maybe when the snack man comes i can have one of them slices and then around 11 half 11 ish i get a bit peckish i could have the other one and then one o'clock is my lunch break so it's all about just like trying to time it and not be so not be such a gannet to be perfectly honest like i might still treat myself to the snack man once a week say on a friday but just treat myself to the one pastry and not the three you know, it is quite excessive to have a steak bake, a sausage roll and a bacon and cheese turnover at half eight in the morning, ain't it? Little baby steps, my lovelies, we're trying to get there, all right? Let's have a look, let's have a look. We've got quite a lot of stuff in here. Oh, picked up two packs of wipes for a pound. So I know I've got a lot more micellar water and the little reusable cloths and that but i found the other day i just needed a wipe to get off like the bulk of it and like when i was kind of in a rush and i didn't have time to properly clean so i picked up two packs these are just the micellar facial wipes 25 wipes in a pack so 50 for a quid and these are suitable for all skin types and i think i picked another two pack up slightly different ones so they was an absolute bargain oh i love this so 
This was $2.99. And as I say, on the theme of trying to be healthier, and we obviously, we've got pumpkin soup in the freezer for days. Let me just tell you that. But also, I want to start getting into making soups more. Not just because we're out at Christmas, but it's still quite cold. And I think a soup is going to be something that could fill me up with maybe one or two slices of brown bread. So I saw this, and for $2.99, I absolutely loved it. So it says, feeling... Oh, there we go feeling super and it's a like china oh it's a proper one i do apologize whoever's calling me texting me but it is microwavable so you've got a lovely sturdy china pot and then this is your lid and then you've got your little oh your little flapper to put it up when it's cooking away and i just thought you know what that looks like a good portion size as well like i could polish off this with a nice little roll or two or a couple of slices of brown bread i'm trying to make the transition from brown bread and brown rice from my usual white bread and white rice so trying to do like a baby steps as we speak today i had for breakfast two slices of brown bread with a little bit of pate on i know pate is not the healthiest but i need to use it up from the uh, christmas lot so yeah absolutely love that for 2.99 they did have the red one, Campbell's, it was like a dupe of the Campbell's soup brand, but I just like that because it had like nice little cute vegetables on and I thought, hmm, $2.99, you're going straight in the trolley because you are not bad indeed. Right, Mama G wanted some tissues, these were 89p, just a standard pack of Paloma Classic, you get 10 packs of 10 tissues, 100 tissues for 89p you cannot go wrong can you and as i say they are a handbag essential my lovelies if you have not got a pack of tissues in your handbag whenever you're caught short or you've got a little sniffle or a runny nose or you touch something icky the tissues come in hand all right we all know whenever i go to primark i can never seem to leave primark without getting a little pack of tissues i don't know what it may be ah the other two packs of facial wipes I've got my lovelies, again two for a quid, these are facial wipes with cucumber extract and pro vitamin B5. So as I say, I didn't go mad, I just got four packs because I like to just have wipes there just in case, you know, as I say, I don't always have the time to cleanse and everything like that and then I don't really want to be using the expensive super drug exfoliating pads, cheap and cheerful 50p a packet, your girl is happy, alright? Right. It's, it's not going to change on the channel, my lovelies. If you don't go to a bargain shop and get cans or bottles of drink, you are missing out. The drinks and cans in the bargain shops are priceless. That's second to none. So I got, these are a returning favourite, the ugly drinks. U-G-L-Y, you ain't got no alibi, you ugly. Hey, hey. If I'm ugly, I'm happy, my lovelies, because these taste phenomenal. Not great if you don't like sparkling water. It's going to be an unpopular opinion. I do love a bit of sparkling water. So I got a lemon and lime and a strawberry. Love the packaging. And these were 39p each. As I say, you've got to have a stock up on the drinks, ain't ya? And there's quite a lot of new drinks in here that I haven't seen throughout Home Bargains last year. So I don't know if they're new for the year. What's going on with that? But I'm all here for it. One pound, we have a Glade Soft Cotton Air Freshener. Can't go wrong with this. Smells like soft cotton. Mum just wanted to try and now, like, wean us away from the mulled wine, the gingerbread, the cinnamon. Like, try and slowly release Christmas from the home, even though, as you can see, I still do have all my Christmas decor out. It's going to be a little hard. I think we're going to try and take them down the second weekend of January, which some people might be thinking, oh my God, bad luck central. But last year, I think mum kept them up until the 31st of January. She took them down early Feb. She does not like taking them down. And I say, I'm not going to lie, neither do I. I do like it once it's done, like everything's nice and clean and minimalistic again. Well, not minimalistic because I'm not really a minimalistic type of person, am I? It still goes back to normal clutter, as people would say but it's my clutter. And yeah, I do feel a bit like I will really miss having my tree in the corner. The only good thing about it going is I can get back to my uh, skincare drawer. That's the only decent thing about it, but I will be missing it. So I'm going to enjoy it for another week that I've got left of it. All right. Right. These were an absolute bargain. 
there will probably be another one floating around somewhere. Oh, there it is. So these were 50 or 60p each or four for a quid. I mean, come on, it's not rocket science. And me and mum, we love this soap. So it is the Imperial Leather Pink Lemonade. And oh my God, if you just smell this, oh my God. It's a gorgeous pink colour, Imperial Leather. Oh, oh, makes my nose itchy though. <laughs> Oh, it's just divine. So, yeah, four for a quid. Didn't think it was too bad. So, Mama G was well and truly happy when I came back and was like, look what I got. And there is a lot more stuff. Oh, cramping my leg. There is a lot more stuff for her in here, which she said, Shan, it's supposed to be on the health kick. And I was like, yeah, but these can be like your little treats because it's everything in moderation. If we're going to be cutting back on portion sizes, we still need to have like a little treat for ourselves, you know? So my other little treat was, as I say, I picked up the go-aheads in the classic strawberry. 99p, once again, like the other pop, but these are just great and I love the strawberry. The only thing is, if you don't have them, they say to store in a cool, dry place, but as soon as you get them at, the chocolate starts to melt on your fingers. So what I do is, before I'm due to eat them, I put them in the fridge for about 15 minutes, just so that like they're nice and cold, no melty chocolate, no sticky fingers, and they are deliciosa. What I'm hoping is going to be delicious, Home Bargains have started doing flapjacks. So I picked up a cherry and almond flavour flapjack. This was 39p. And I'm hoping it's going to give me like cherry bake wall vibes. So without having like all the pastry and all the marzipan, I am hoping this is going to be a good alternative. It looks good, like it looks substantial. I don't think I'd be able to eat it all in one go though. What is it? Per 100 grams, 427 calories. So I could maybe eat half. As I say, I do like a cherry bake wall, but only in moderation, you know. So that could be like half and then half. That could be a nice little snack if i do say so myself don't shout at me really don't shout at me if you saw my what i got for christmas and the last week of vlogmas if you see how our bathroom now looks you will know that there is not room to swing a cat for the amount of bubble baths in there however i saw this for a pound and oh i just I just couldn't not get it it's an imperial leather disco fever and it's sugared berries and moon dust. So first of all, I just love the packaging. I haven't even smelt it yet. That's probably very bad of me. Oh my God, it's like sweet candy floss. Oh, right. I'm not mad that I got that actually. Oh, can I put it on properly? There we go. When I walked in and mum saw it, she was like, Shannon Lee. You have how many bottles of bubble bath in there? I was like, Mum, I can't do a haul and not pick up a one pound body wash or shower gel, can I? I mean, it's just, it's going to be daylight robbery if I go in there and I don't get one. So I picked this up. I haven't seen this since. So it's not like it's just one that I've already had. It smells absolutely lovely. It's an Icons Bath Soak is the approximate, approximate, appropriate name for it as per the packaging. But yeah, absolutely love that. And as I say, the Imperial Leathers I love because they're cheap and cheerful. So if I really want to have a big bubble bath, I won't be putting in like my Bayless and Harding. I'll put a good glug of that because I think for a quid it's all right. So yeah, nothing wrong with keep having your quid bubble baths. All right, my lovelies, because I absolutely love them. <gasps> what have we got? What have we got? Oh, Right, these are a bit pricey. I'm not going to lie, I do get annoyed with these. These are £1.80 and they are the Brompton House Premium 10 Large and Moist Coconut Macaroons. Now, I love these because they give me my sweet fix. I think you pay the price because of the tub. So you do get like a reusable tub, which is handy because it's what I have in work. So I'll keep like all my um, foxes, mints and little bits and bobs in the bottom drawer. But... I do think it's a bit of a rip off. However, I am partial to a coconut macaroon. And let's have a look. Per macaroon, 149 calories. Ooh. It's not too bad, I suppose. But I could normally sit and eat like three or four. I'm going to try and limit myself to one. Perhaps two. 
we shall see. But yeah, I thought I'll get that and then at least I've got another container as well because we're always on the hunt for more containers. Mama G shrimp panland the other day and got a few because where we've been cooking in bulk and then batch freezing, we've run out of containers. So I said we need to get down to IKEA. We've done Panland, get down to IKEA and get some pots because you need to have it. And it's always handy when you have batch cooking in because when you can't be bothered to cook the next day, just get something out of the freezer and you are good to go. These were from Mama G as well. I think these were 69 or 79p. Just a pack of 10 sponge scourers. As we all know, she doesn't really care for like the nice, the cute pink and white ones. She's happy with these ones. So yes, she was like, I need some scourers. I was like, okay. I was like, the cute ones or the normal ones? She was like, normal. I was like, ruining my little vibe here, mother, you know? And then let's have a look. We have still got, oh, I picked up another flapjack. This one is a chocolate flavour coated flapjack, as I say, 39p. And if these are good, I'm actually going to be really excited because I used to love baking flapjacks back in the day. I used to do, I'm not going to blow my own trumpet, but I used to do a lovely golden syrup honey and macadamia nut flapjack. And if I felt a little bit bougie, I used to melt white chocolate and put it on. Don't think they were the healthiest, but if they are good, it might get me back into like the baking scene and trying to do like healthy flapjacks. Who knows? Right. Da, 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 da. Oh, I actually picked this up for Brandon. And this was 69p and it's by the brand Oshi. Oshi. And it's an energy elixir. It's basically an energy drink, drink, my lovelies. But I just got it because it's The Witcher. So as we all know, me and Brandon finished season two it season two yeah absolutely loved it so it says natural caffeine energy elixir cat witcher potion apple kiwi flavor so that is a little tiger and then you have the main man the witcher himself so i thought I'm not trying to really promote energy drinks but it'd be quite nice for us to try they had so many flavors they had a strawberry a blackberries a forest fruits but i thought apple and kiwi that sounded quite refreshing if you do ask me I don't want to do that yet. I'm trying to find because there's so much in here. Um, ah, these are a returning favourite. Can I get my hand in there? 29p. 29p. I've got two little bottles of the sugar free because I say we are trying to watch the weight. Sugar free iron brew. And look at that. It matches the hair. So, of course, your girl's got to pick it. I love a bit of iron brew. Absolutely love iron brew. As I say, I am trying to drink a lot more water. But on that times where I do fancy a little bit of fizz, absolutely love iron brew. Let me know what your favourite, like, fizzy canned bottle drink is. Iron brew or Dr Pepper, I think, are up there with, like, my two faves, you know? These. Right. I don't quite know. So they're only 77 calories each, which isn't too bad. But me and Mama G absolutely love macaroons we always seem to have them at like any family parties or occasions so i saw these and there should be another box somewhere because i've got two flavors ah there they are so home bargains have got this brand now dolce soul black Dolce Soul Black, I think that's what it's called. And they are macaroons. You get four per box and they are one pound a box. They did have a raspberry flavoured as well, but I didn't really think raspberry was a bit of me. So I picked up a chocolate flavour and a lemon flavour. So I'm going to be very intrigued to see how these are. I think me and Mama G might have these, say, on a weekend. If we're having a nice little cup of tea, we can try these out. Because if they are good... I will be stocking up because macaroons in our local bakery, they're like $2.50 per macaroon. Expensive for them little things, but they do taste delicious. And, <laughs> but there's like quite a mountain of bits. So, you know we can't go there and not pick up the rice things. So, ooh, we got loads. As you know, Mama G, she don't do the spice. So, picked her up two of the sour cream and onion flavoured snacks. These are one pound per pack. And then I picked up the two sweet chilli ones. Now, I love these rice things. Because they're baked, not fried, 
they're not too calorific but so per 100 grams is 450 so this whole pack is 450 that's not terrible though because i am one of them people i'll open it and i think i'll just have one little strip then i have that strip because there's like maybe what 10 12 discs in there i think i'll have another strip and then I think, oh, I'll have another shit. And then I think, oh, I might as well just reuse and eat the whole packet. Because there is no way. Oh, my God, now I've got a hair on my nose. Oh, there's no point in me opening them. They're going to go dry. So I might as well just indulge in them all at once. So I am going to try and make a pact this year with myself to just eat one. Even if I have one every day at work, at least I will use them within four days. And they won't go dry or anything like that. But, yeah, absolutely love these. I do also love the ready salted ones they used to do them in red can't find them anywhere now and then there was a brand i think it was in home bargains or b&m it was a black packaging at ready sorted they don't seem to do them anymore but i have found them in my local tesco for a pan so i am happy that i have now a little ready sorted fix but my lovelies go and get a refill get back and get comfy because we're about halfway through the bag and we've still got plenty of goodies in it <laughs> right so got some more snacks for work as i say but these were a little throwback to my childhood who remembers kinder happy hippos i love them little things so i picked up the original one which was hazelnut oh my god do these not bring back memories and again 99p again my lovelies per biscuit 122 calories I'm not going to moan about it. You get five for a quid, 20p. Not too bad. A nice little snack. These are like really when I want my sugar fix, I think, that I'll be heading towards these. And I also then picked up the cocoa version. Now, I can't remember having these when I was younger. It was always just the original hazelnut. So unless this is a newbie, well, it's probably not because I haven't had like packed lunches since I was at school well over a decade ago. But hazelnut hungry hippos or were the one back in the day so yeah again it's gonna be hard because once you have them i find they're very moorish like you have one and then you want another with me what i eat i don't think is bad it's just the portion and the quantity that i eat of it so if i just ate one of those i'd be fine but i can't eat one of those i will end up eating two or three of them and then it turns out not to be fine so yeah that's what i kind of need to work on in the new year let's just say picked up another little air fresh night this again one pound glade luscious cherry and peony so as i say we're all stocked up now for a good few neutral scents as i say and then coming into like march and april it's gonna be easter so perhaps some lemons or citruses look at this i'm already planning my air fresheners for easter time what can we say i must say though when i went in time bargains i was a little shocked so in my one you walked in you had like all the fitness stuff so obviously like for new year then you had half an aisle of valentine's day stuff half an aisle of mother's day stuff and on the following aisle you had half an aisle of easter stuff and i was thinking like i went down what's the day i went down second of january and i'm thinking you got stuff for easter that's in april obviously it's not that full display they're just getting little bits out yet but i was just like just the shops are going way too quick with it isn't it my lovelies it's like it's just all bam 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 we should just do it season by season and occasion by occasion but yeah as i say there will i think be like a little valentine's collective gift guide kind of what i done i think for mother's day last year where i'll just have a look around the bargain shops and then anything purely for valentine's that obviously i will use as i say try not to unnecessarily spend the bits that i will use i'll do like a little collectiveness so whether it be like candles a little balloon a little cushion something like that so yeah got that to look forward to in february my lovelies picked this up for one pound mum said bleach i did get bleach i have got the right thing but i saw this and i was like i love a new little duck so i picked up the duck fresh action gel fruity fantasy mandarin orange blossom and peach I love the packaging, love the scent of it, and for a quid, you can't go wrong. Because like our nearest Tesco, I'm sure they charge you like one fifty to two quid for it, and I think, why? Do not waste your money in the supermarkets. Go to the bargain shops. Absolutely love it. Right, I'm going to get this out now because it is slightly annoying me. But your girl bought a yoga mat, so I do currently have a yoga mat. 
if you remember from my Chloe Ting workouts, the thick black one that has been well and truly pre-loved. It was from my Wee Fit many, many moons ago. So I've got that for indoors, but I really wanted one with a strap. I don't know why. I just, I really want to be that person that like goes to the gym or goes to a class and has a strap on their little mat because I do really want to try and get into like yoga or Pilates this year. Just I think more for stretching and like flexibility and that. But I saw this. This was $5.99 from the Keep Fit range, which I didn't think was too bad. And it's by the brand Alan Mode printed yoga mat with carry strap. 173 by 63 centimeters and it says on it positive mind positive vibes positive life and i thought like, you know what it's baby pink it's got a gray strap it's light it's not too big it's not too chunky and i loved the saying on it you see it more there positive mind positive vibes positive life and i loved it absolutely loved it i don't look the thickest but how much would I say that is? About five centimetres maybe? So it's not thick, 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 but it's all right, as I say, because I don't quite know when I join the new gym and go to the classes whether they give you the mats. I know when I used to go, they would already have the mats laid out for you, but obviously because of the C word and everything like that, I don't quite know how it's going to go. So I thought at least if I have one, I can take it with me, and then if they do have them to offer... I can be like, yeah, or actually I've got my own and yeah. So I am trying positively to get into the gym mode and the class mode. So I thought a little new pink accessory can't do me no wrong, eh? La -da 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 -da. These are a staple as well. One pound once again. These are the dupes for Glade or Airwick? Glade? I think Glade. I'm sure it's Glade. I still don't know after all of these years, my lovelies. These are just the little dupes. So for £1, I picked up two Air Pure Citrus Zing. I love these because we've still got a few from Christmas, like the mulled wine scent and that. But I think it's time to release the mulled wine and the candy cane and put a little bit of citrus, you know? Fresh start, fresh year, everything like that. These, I thought, were fab. They were 59p each. You're probably thinking, Shane, you want to be healthy and you're buying popcorn. But... I love popcorn because it isn't as calorific. Obviously, if you eat the whole bag, yes. But I've got some little cute bowls that I think I could use as a good, like, portion size. I am also trying to look at to see, like, what the recommended amount. So if it says this contains 10 servings or anything like that. So I got a sweet and salty for me. This is by the brand Bradbury's. It says high in fibre as well. I did also try to find just a plain salty one because I do prefer salty popcorn to sweet popcorn. Maybe an unpopular opinion. Let me know what's your popcorn preference down below, my lovelies. But yeah, so I got a sweet and salty because that's all I could find. And then I picked up Brandon the Cinema Sweet. He loves a good sweet popcorn. And as I say, he is that person as well that can sit there and eat a whole pot of popcorn. I was going to get the big like a uh, plastic drum. I think it's like 2 99 but he probably would sit there and polish that off in one sitting. So I thought a bag is going to be good for you know. Also picked up some little Ritz crackers. These were 99p in cheese flavour. Again, just when I want kind of like a little savoury snack, it's not too bad. What are we doing here? So it says eight servings in this box. 25 grams equals seven crackers. Well, that's not too bad for a snack. I could deal with that and then I get like my cheese fix as well because I'm not going to lie, that is the only thing that I think I'm going to struggle with because there is so much cheese left still in the house and to have it moderately and not just slab it on loads of crackers is hard for me. So by having that, combines my cheese and crackers in one, doesn't it, my lovelies? Right, drinks. I haven't seen these ones before. So these were 29 or 39p. And they're by the brand Sun Magic. And it says the taste of the sun. 100% pure steel orange juice. Now my logic couldn't think of this. Because I can't picture steel products in cans. That probably seems so weird. But I'm expecting to open this. And it be like fan up. But Mama G said that she's actually had these before. And it's not. It is steel orange juice. So I'm very excited to have that. And yeah I just found it a weird concept. Like. A juice in a can 
normally they're in like the little cartons or something but i thought hey ho for 29.99p you cannot go wrong and you can't be picky or choosy can you and then uh, so again mum wanted some snacks and she was like try and get me some healthy snacks so i picked up these were 25p per bag and i absolutely love these as well so i might be uh nicking a few they are the slim fast 99 calories per bag baked sour cream and chai flavor pretzels oh my god if you have not tried these you need to the flavoring on them they are coated in that dusting let me tell you that they are so so nice i was reading the back as well like the slim fast 321 plan what it says I don't do the slim fast plan i do the shannon plan let's just say and yeah absolutely love them but again addictive have to try not to eat the entire four packets in one go and then i also saw these for mum i haven't don't think i've tried these ones but they are the baked cheddar i thought she'd been in the bag last night and took one out they are a little squashed to say the least of course and these are 95 calories, so these ain't as much, but these are the baked cheddar flavour bites. So as I say, I don't think I've had these ones. I do like the good pretzels though, but yeah. So we've got them. So even though we're still having the snacks as in like the crisps and everything like that, they're better. It's not me eating a whole tub of Twiglets. It's me eating a 99 calorie little bag of pretzels or a 99 calorie bag of of pretzels so we got the six pack instead of me as i say having the whole tub i just have the little diddy pack it doesn't quite quench my hunger but at least i'm still getting it everything in moderation eh and then ba -dam -ba -bam -bam, moderation she says so i picked mama g up some little bits from reese's because we all know from christmas she became addicted to Reese's. So I picked her up quite a selection, let's just say. These were all a pound, as I say. And as well with the bargain shops, any American candy or anything like that, it's always so much cheaper than you pay in the supermarkets. So I got the first thing was Reese's Overload, king size three pieces. And it says pretzels, caramel, peanut butter and peanuts covered with chocolate flavour coating. So I have no idea. I haven't actually seen those ones before. So I picked her up those to go in her little box. I got her the original four peanut butter buttercups in the king size. She's had those ones. She's had these ones as well. These are the four white cream and peanut buttercups king size as well. And then I just got her the five snack size of the peanut buttercups. So she's got four king size and then she's got the five snack size. So she was like when can i have them if i'm being healthy and i was like mum they're really not too bad well you're not eating 100 grams of it are you so i said with this you can have one maybe one a night or one every other night you've got to have a treat i'm one of these once i get into healthy eating if i do not treat myself not excessively but if i don't treat myself i think what's the point what is the point so if that means you have a really good day and then you treat yourself with a little peanut butter cup every night as long as it's just the one what's the harm in that eh, my love is and then da, 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 da. oh classic little roll on for mama g little dove one pound again as i say the toiletries you can't go wrong there now this i haven't seen this bleach before look at me getting fascinated by bleach this was 69p it's by the brand easy normally we get the yellow or the pink one but this was seriously thick bleach crystal white gel i said to mum i just saw it and i thought oh that looks a little bit different so she was very happy with that. It says it removes stains and destroys odours. 24-hour germ kill. So it's extra thick. Seriously thick. So hopefully it will still go down the plug hole and everything. Fingers crossed, she says. And then we needed some bin bags. But mum was very quick to point out you've picked up the wrong ones. I think the ones that she wanted, we actually get from B&M. So I'll have to have a look on the next visit. So I just picked up 10 refuse sacks. Thicker and stronger with tie string. And these were... 79 89p so again not too bad these are a classic you've got to get these power action antibacterial surface wipes you get 50 wipes for 60 is it 69 or 79p again but i got them in the apple scent 
just to like try and keep a little bit of the winter vibes alive not quite into the uh lemony ones but we're not far off these drinks oh my god i was very impressed with so these were 59p i think probably because of the packaging and they're by the brand flavita bubbly so of course you go out to get one in every single flavor to try and it's strawberry mojito and mango that's sparkling water but i love the concept of this so it looks like a clear water bottle but it's a can top this is what i mean like it fascinates me like i would have thought the orange juice would have been in something like this with a screw top not in a can so yeah very very strange but i shall let you know as i say in vlogs and over on my instagrams how i find it but yeah flavita bubbly so we have strawberry we have a mojito so that's going to be very nice and refreshing i think and then a mango the mango is probably the one that i am most excited for but let's see how they go eh? can't go in there and not get an anti-back can you 39p standard sabre sabre hand sanitizer you don't need to be paying through the roof for it my lovelies i know you still go into some shops and they're like a panned 150 and i think oh, go to your local bargain shop because they are so so much cheaper and then da -da -da -da, some more crackers so as i say i've got my cheese crackers but when i just want like say i want to devour a pack of ready sorted mccoys probably several packets these i thought were a really good alternative they are a sea salt and black pepper cracker and it says it contains 32 servings not too bad these were again i think 69 or 79p they done them with rosemary as well but i've actually got some jacob's thins still available up there available like it's in my shop i've still got them in the kitchen my lovelies all right so i thought we just go for the sea salt and black pepper and we can just have those to snack on i got some more swing bin liners these are i think 69 or 79p again 20 swing bin liners tie handles so this is what i have for the bin in the bathroom my general bin and then also my new bin which is my waste and recycle for purely just my skincare bits and bobs if you saw the what i got for christmas it's over in there so yeah 20 for 69.79p you cannot go wrong and then the last two bits my lovelies were for mama g and look at that the bag is empty we picked these up so she loved these because i got this in october or november i got like a really nice cinnamon and orange scent and oh my god her wardrobe she loves just opening her wardrobe now and having a smell so i picked up two more sets so these are a three pack for one pound i picked up fresh linen comfort just very basic and then i picked up precious petals romance and they're literally just scented sachets my lovely so she puts hers on her hangers in the wardrobe a lot of people you can just put them in like say your underwear drawer you can just put them in the bottom i used to get stuff like this like little pouches though with beads in from boo avenue la senza and summers and all of that but you'd pay like three pound just for one tiny little thing because it had beads in i mean People shouldn't be rooting around your underwear drawers or your clothing drawers in general. So it doesn't matter if they look like cardboard or whether they look like fancy little beads. So yes, she absolutely loved this. And there's so many other uses actually. Shoe freshener, waist bin freshener, moth repellent and a vacuum freshener. So can you put these in your vacuum? I probably wouldn't tell her to put them in the vacuum just in case we bugger up the hoover. But yeah i thought that they were very very good and my lovelies would you look at that the bag done so my lovelies the first haul of 2022 is done and as i say of course i couldn't kick the year off with any other haul apart from home bargains i was thinking about putting primark as my first haul but it's got to be a home bargains ain't it it always is i think home bargains was one of my very first hauls i think the very 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 first haul i ever done on the channel was savers and b&m and then i think i done a home bargains which was my biggest and i think that was the one that like got me the most views back in the day so home bargains always holds a very very special place in my heart and as i say i do get very carried away i wish that the one pound 99p bags cost 99p to fill because 
your girl would be very happy, but it doesn't. But I do feel like we've still got a few little naughty things in there, but it's in moderation. So the popcorn we can have in moderation, my coconut macaroons we can have in moderation, but we have made a good stead for the new year with healthy bits. The snacks, the yoga mat, I do think we have done very, very good. The soup mug, I absolutely love. I cannot wait to be baking some more soups. Baking, cooking some more soups for that, my lovelies. But as I say, yeah, if you do not go to your bargain shops, what are you doing? I went with one of my friends, actually, to this one, and she's like, I don't think I've ever been in a home bargains. And I was like, excuse me? She's like, I was just walk past them and just don't think nothing of it. I'm like, oh, my God, you're missing out on some beauties. You probably think, how can a girl get so excited about a bargain shop? But I just do. Absolutely love a good bargain shop. Home bargains, B&M, Panland, Savers, Pan Stretcher. Then you've got online pan shop, Cherries, loads of them, Click Marketplace, everything. Your girl just loves a good bargain. And these cans are extremely cold on my legs. My God, I've got goose pimples. So, my lovelies, I don't want to rabbit on in these outros anymore. That's one of my New Year's resolutions. If you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your favourite bit from the haul? Obviously, we always have to know what your favourite bit is, my lovelies. Any bits of here that you've tried? Any bits you want to try? Or what is something that you think, I need that for the new year? Whether it be a snack new style of bin bag, an air freshener, a sparkling water drink, a yoga mat. What is your favourite from this, my lovelies, as I say? Because I love hearing what you like. And then you also put down in the comments sometimes being like, oh, I went to mine and I saw this and I'm like, right, I need to be on the hunt out for that. It's all about a little giving channel over here, ain't it? We like to give tips, give hints, give pointers, everything like that. And that's how it's going to stay and grow for many years to come, I hope. But as I say, take care, stay safe as always, my lovelies. And I shall see ya for a new video very, very soon, which will be but a bear Tuesday. Bye, guys.